Now, Canelo Alvarez, Jake Paul has stated that within three years, he would love to have a possible showdown with you. Is that something that you would be interested in? Uh, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, you never say no. So, we don't know. Uh, he can try to keep fighting, uh, but we'll see in the future. What's going on with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, The Realist of The Real. Yes, sir, I said it. Real Talk Boxing, it is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. Everybody in the world wants Jake Paul. Everybody, everybody, everybody. We've had people say I would never fight him. You know, his cards are sideshows. Um, here recently, Clarissa Shields said that, hey, I'm a three-division world champion, two-time gold medalist. I would never fight on his card. And then not too long after, we see her challenge... <laughs> challenging Jake Paul to an exhibition or possibly sparring. Now, I, I see this video this morning. Actually, somebody, I forget who it was. I think it was my man Flores. Uh, who sent me a message on Instagram. This is real talk. Check this out. And I, I stated this can't be real. No way in the world he made this statement. No way in the world Canelo Alvarez said this about Jake Paul. And I seen it with my own eyes, man. Um, Canelo sounded like he was open to maybe do something with Jake Paul. Um, I think that there has been some foreshadowing to this certain topic and situation at hand. When he won the WBC against Smith, you know, you had the kids come in with the Jake Paul shirt on. And, you know, you remember what Canelo told those kids. Um, I think that was some foreshadowing. I think that this has possibly been in the works already. A lot of people underestimate Jake and his... Man, the kid is... He He never ceases to amaze me when it comes to... His mind, man, um, isn't the best fighter in the world, but he's not the worst. Um, a lot of people are upset about this. Very, very upset. And I can understand why. Totally get it. We're going to talk about that. And uh, I can understand why you're not upset about it. Now, me, myself, <laughs> uh, where, 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 where can I start? Where can I start? Let's just say this. We are living in a day and age where legacy titles mean nothing. I've stated this. Means completely and utterly nada. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. It's all about popularity, revenue, followers, subscribers, fan base, um, social media. It's all about that. Now, and that's why you don't have a lot of the best fighting the, the best. That's why we have a lot of these uh, quote-unquote sideshow um, crossover hybrid matches going on, sanctioned bouts going on, and I've never been the one to hate on it. Um, but for Canelo, someone who's held titles in the middleweight division, super middleweight division and light heavyweight division who is very decorated who has a great record and a great legacy and a great career and possibly pound for pound the best fighter right now and in my opinion is on his way to becoming the undisputed super middleweight in the world on the outside looking in and my heart of hearts I would say all of those accolades and achievements will be flushed down the drain should he fight someone like Jake Paul. Um, but then again, on the other hand, it's his business, his career. He does what he wants. I ain't got nothing to say about it. I have my opinion. And I'm not going to trash it or hate on it because I'm going to be watching it if it happens. And I think later on down the line, it will happen because... I don't care what anybody says about Jake Paul. He generates revenue, money, millions 
on top of millions. And the fight between him and Canelo Alvarez, now I'm not promoting this fight. I'm just saying I would watch it. And I'm telling y'all it would make mega money. I'm talking about a super bag. I'm talking about a super saiyan bag. Matter of fact, a super saiyan four bag. Like it would be like nuts. I'm talking about a Broly bag, bro. Like you can't. You you can sit and hate all day, but watch them stack the cash. And I've said this before. I don't care who you are, whether you're a professional fighter or a big fat couch potato. If someone rings you up on your phone and says, hey, we got $5 million for you to step in the ring and fight Jake Paul. Best bet, you'll get off that couch or you'll go to that gym and train and go get that bag. I don't care who you are. Now, I don't know how much money they, they they would stand to make, but it would be substantial. And I get it. I get it. But what does it do for Canelo's legacy? It could put a very, very dark cloud over it. I see Canelo retiring first. Because I don't think he's going to be in the sport too much longer. I would say a year or two at the most. Because he ain't got nothing else to prove. He's already faced all the controversy, all the haters. He's already made his mistakes and came back from it. He's He's got his naysayers and he's got his people who support him. He ain't got nothing else to prove, especially if he beats, which I think he's going to be Caleb Plant, to become undisputed. What else does he have to prove? So when he retires and comes back and fights Jake Paul, you can't say much about it, much like Floyd Mayweather did when he came back and fought McGregor. Well, that win actually went on his record, right? It shouldn't have. It shouldn't have. But nevertheless, he came back and did exhibitions after he was retired. So you can hate all you want. But the bag was secured. Much like the fight between Canelo Alvarez and Jake Paul would be. Everybody wants this kid. Everybody, you know, I say what I say about him. You know, as far as what he's achieved and uh, and as far as um, how hard he's worked and went from a novice to, you know, a professional fighter, I commend him for that. I've never hated on that. I don't like his antics outside the ring and outside the work that he puts in the boxing, the sport of boxing. But the kid's doing his thing and he's making a lot of money for a lot of people. You know, even his undercard. Fighters are getting paid decent, man. Decent. And I've even heard that he's come out of his pocket to even pay an incentive, you know, to, to give fighters a bonus on his card. So, you know, I can say what I want to about him. You can say what you want to about him. But when the, when, when the smoke clears, he's making everybody money. And not everybody likes it, but it is what it is. Yeah, I want to grab him by his face and shake him a little bit sometimes when he says and does stupid things. But when he gets in that ring, you know, and as much as we want to hate, as much as we want to hate, everybody who hates Jake Paul would watch that fight just to see Canelo Alvarez knock his block off. Because there's been times where I said certain fighters would beat Jake Paul. When I first heard about him fighting Woodley, I was like, Woodley's going to kill him. Now, slowly, I started changing my mind. And then what happens? He didn't lose. You can make an argument to say, oh, well, he would win against a, a rematch against Woodley. He would definitely beat Tommy Fury. But Canelo Alvarez, no doubt in my mind, no doubt in my mind, would take Paul's lunch money if there wasn't some type of agreement within that fight. But if you want to see Jake Paul get beat, if he fights Canelo Alvarez in the future, then that's the fight you need to watch. No way on God's green earth, unless they agree to something, he's going to beat Canelo Alvarez. No way. That's just what I'm hearing. That's my outlook on it, man. Um... The boxing world, <laughs> the boxing world is crazy, man. The boxing world is crazy right now. I, I don't know what to think or what to say, but I'm going to roll with the punches, man, and just, you know, try to keep a positive outlook. Never mind what I'm talking about. Let me know what you're thinking. Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless you. The next time, Real Talk Boxing. I'm up, and I'm out of here. Click, click, boom.